This Commonwealth member is the world's second largest country. The majority of that land area, on the other hand, is completely undeveloped. One of Canada's biggest draws is its absolutely huge stretches of nature where you can actually get lost. Its national parks are very huge, with breathtaking views, mountaineering, hiking, boating, swimming, and cycling are just a few of the activities available to outdoor enthusiasts. Visit Banff National Park to see grizzly bears, ski whistlers, powdery slopes, or sample some of Vancouver's freshest wild salmon. There is something for everyone in Canada. Number 10. Calgary Calgary, Alberta's largest city, is nestled between the Canadian prairies and the Canadian Rockies foothills. Calgary grew into one of Canada's greatest metropolitan regions after oil was discovered nearby in the early 1900s, luring thousands of visitors each year to its world-famous rodeo event, the Calgary Stampede. While Calgary is divided into various communities, the business, entertainment, and shopping sectors are concentrated on the downtown core. Two popular pedestrian zones are Stephen Avenue Walk and Barclay Mall. Calgary has a plethora of buildings with observation decks that provide breathtaking views of the city and the Rocky Mountains. The Bow and Calgary Tower are the most well-known of these, a world-class zoo, amusement parks, botanical gardens, and a hands-on science center are among the many family attractions. The Calgary Stampede, an Old West event conducted over 10 days in July with rodeos, chuckwagon races, parades, and competitions, is the most famous of the city's yearly music, film, and dance festivals. Number 9. Churchill The first time you see a polar bear up close, it takes your breath away. The two agonizing days on the train that took you above the tree line and into the tundra to the very border of Hudson Bay are quickly forgotten. Churchill is the only outpost here, and it's situated in the middle of the grizzly migration route. Tundra vehicles set out in pursuit of the razor-clawed animals from late September to early November, occasionally reaching close enough to lock eyes. You may kayak or stand-up paddleboard with beluga whales during the summer. Number 8. Ottawa Ottawa, Canada's capital, is home to some exceptional national museums and historic monuments, as well as Parliament Hill, and it is situated along the Rideau Canal in a picturesque location. It's also a tiny city, so it's easy to get around and explore. Summer is a great time to visit because there are so many activities going on, such as the Tulip Festival in the spring and the typically lavish Canada Day celebrations on July 1st. When the weather is cold enough in the winter, the canal is transformed into a 7.8-kilometer long cast iron skating rink, and the annual Winterlude events in February bring large crowds. There is never a terrible time to visit Ottawa, which is only a few hours away from Toronto by car or train. Number 7. Whistler This gabled mountain community and 2010 Olympic venue are cast iron after the hairy marmots that inhabit the area and whistle like deflating balloons. It is one of the world's largest, best equipped, and most popular ski resorts. The village, which originates from the late 1970s, and spans two slopes, Whistler and Blackcomb, and is just 90 minutes north of Vancouver, is a poster child for aesthetic design, with nary an unattractive building or piece of garbage to mar the natural beauty. Whistler's race into Tre may be skiing, but summer visitors with their BMX and SUP now outnumber their ski season counterparts. The resort has recently acquired an art culture befitting of a small European city, adding to its diversity. What's the catch? Whistler is both crowded, 2.3 million visitors per year, and pricey. Be picky with your dates and don't follow the herd for a quieter, more cost-effective encounter. Number 6. Vancouver Island Although Vancouver Island is only a two-hour ferry voyage from the mainland, it may feel like a world away. Most visitors come to Victoria, BC capital, for sightseeing and culture. But the island offers some unexpected and unique experiences if you travel north into the wild and desolate areas. Hikers and campers may enjoy some of the best hiking paths on Vancouver Island, as well as some stunning camping spots. One of the island's lodges or resorts is always available to anyone seeking greater comfort. The old-growth woods of gigantic trees, some over 1,000 years old, are one of the island's most amazing vistas. The ancient trees of Eden Grove in Port Renfrew are within day-trip distance of Victoria. If you're driving up the island, stop by Cathedral Grove, which is not far from Port Alberni, or drive out to Dufino to see even more massive trees. As you drive up to Dufino on the rough west coast, a stunning vista of sandy bays 
and dramatic rocky cliffs unfolds. In the neighboring Pacific Rim National Park Reserve, you'll find excellent hiking trails, some of Canada's largest trees, countless beaches, great surfing areas, camping, and places to simply soak up nature in quiet around this tiny but immensely popular off-the-beaten-path tourist town. Tofino is a year-round destination, but during the storm season, which runs from November to March, many visitors come to admire the massive waves crashing on the shore. So come to surf, and others simply come to snuggle up next to a fire in one of Tofino's lovely resorts with views of the Pacific Ocean, Nanaimo, Parksville, and Qualicum Beach, all on the eastern side with views of the Salish Sea, are other places to visit on the island. Explore Cape Scott Provincial Park in the very north of the island if you want to get away from it all. Number 5. Toronto With over 3 million citizens, the enormous city of Toronto is Canada's most densely populated city. Toronto, which is located on the banks of Lake Ontario, is part of the Golden Horseshoe region, which extends from the lake to Niagara Falls. Toronto, the provincial capital of Ontario, is also one of the world's most multicultural cities, with just under 100 ethnic communities calling it home. It's one of the few localities in Canada where more than half of the population isn't Canadian. However, it is this melting pot that gives Toronto its identity. Some street signs are printed in a variety of languages, and each community has its particular cuisine. Among the city's towering buildings and thousands of multicultural restaurants, there's a wealth of culture to be found. The CN Tower, the world's highest freestanding structure, is one of the most famous tourist attractions until it was trumped by the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Its observation deck, sky pod, and 360 restaurant provide a stunning unbroken view of the city, but the ride up in the glass-enclosed elevator alone is worth it. Number 4. Montreal Montreal is a one-of-a-kind city with a lovely old historic quarter dating from the 1600s and a modern city center with vast underground shops. With cobblestone alleys and wonderful old buildings, Old Montreal is the main tourist hub, and it's a great area to get lost while wandering up and down the historical streets. There are several beautiful parks and beaches in and around Montreal. Montreal is also home to a huge number of fashion designers and high-end boutiques, as well as small hotels and restaurants line the old streets. Although Montreal is located in the French-speaking province of Quebec, English-speaking visitors will have no trouble connecting with anyone in the tourism sector. Number 3. Niagara Falls The spectacular Niagara Falls, Canada's most famous natural wonder, has been attracting visitors virtually since its discovery. The sight of the massive wall of water crashing over the falls is breathtaking, as is the perspective and access provided to guests. You may literally walk up to the edge of the falls and watch the water disappear over the top, divided only by a cast iron fence. The 115-year-old Canadian Niagara Power Company generating plant will be inaugurated by the Niagara Parks Commission in 2021. This intriguing structure shows its vintage generators and electrical equipment after years of laborious renovations and rehabilitation. Visitors will be able to descend beneath the structure and wander through ancient water tunnels before arriving at the river's edge below the falls. The people and environment created by the falls have had a significant impact on the city that has grown up around them, also known as Niagara Falls. Throughout the decades, stuntmen and daredevils have risked their lives on the falls, resulting in a carnival-like atmosphere that has come to define this distinctive city. Niagara Falls is a short drive from Toronto, and the city is a pleasant spot to visit for a day or two. Number 2. Vancouver A trip to Vancouver is all about taking advantage of the great outdoors. The residents of Vancouver spend their days skiing on Grouse Mountain, swimming at Kitsilano Beach, and wandering around Stanley Park. In addition, this British Columbia city has numerous cultural attractions, including museums and outdoor markets. Granville Island is a must-see. If you're not afraid of heights, the Capilano Suspension Bridge which stands 230 feet over the Capilano River, is about five miles north of the city center. Number 1. Banff National Park The lovely mountain town of Banff, located within the spectacular Banff National Park, is a must-see for anybody interested in exploring the Rocky Mountains and seeing some of Canada's most beautiful landscapes. This is a tourism town that caters to visitors from all over the world. The turquoise lakes, such as Lake Louise and Moraine Lake, nestled beneath glacier-capped mountains are a spectacular sight in the summer. 
Driving the Icefields Parkway, which connects the park to Jasper National Park, is one of the greatest ways to take in the scenery. Consider tackling one of Banff's greatest hiking paths. If you're looking for a little extra adventure and workout, these classic trails lead to some of the park's most magnificent views. Skiers and snowboarders flock to the area in the winter to experience the slopes of Lake Louise and Sunshine Village, two of Canada's top ski resorts. But you don't have to leave Banff to enjoy a gondola ride to the top of a mountain for dinner, swim in a hot springs-fed pool, shop till you drop, wander along gorgeous walking trails, and potentially see elk and woodland caribou that visit the town. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and see the rest of our videos. See you soon.